Hello. This is a discussion on a photo editing software program that's embedded within Microsoft Word Starter. And I have Starter because I don't want to pay for Microsoft Word because I don't use it too often anymore. But Microsoft Word is basically the industry standard. And there's a free version that comes with a bunch of um, ads that pop up on the right. And they're not really invasive when I use it. It's fine. But I use Microsoft Word Starter. I have the 32-bit version. And it's 2010 is the year. And it's version, uh, we'll see, 14.0. Point seven one six two point five thousand. Now, to get your Microsoft Word Starter Photo Tool, open up Microsoft Word Starter 2010. As you can see, you're on a blank page as a default, and there's nothing here that indicates there's really any photo editing tool available. But if you go Insert Picture, select a picture you'd like to play around with double click it now your picture is in Word as you can see now that the picture is open you have something here that says picture tools format it wasn't viewable until you open the picture it doesn't do a lot but it's pretty you know cool and has some good features this section here is called picture styles and these are basically um, different frames like that you see the frame changing that, that, that. Some of them are pretty nice. That one. And if you take the arrows next to your picture styles, you can scroll up and down. All right. That's what that does. So picture styles are just various frames that you can use, okay? Okay. Now, um, Let's start over with the image again as you open it up you don't see anything indicating this photo manipulation software in here so now you hit insert picture open up your picture double click there you go now let's see what else we can do oh and if by chance you don't see it just click on the picture sir if you click around the picture that ability to edit photos goes away. If you click on the picture, it comes back. Very easy. Um, let's see. What else can we do? It does compress pictures. I don't bother that. Reset picture. You can change a picture, too. Like, say you didn't want this picture. If you click Change Picture, it'll open up um, the folder that you were working in, and you can select another picture to overwrite or replace this one. I'm not going to do that now. In here, they have artistic effects like most photo programs do. They're like, uh, I guess you call them um, effects or templates. And there's quite a few in here. Let's see. Like you can do this. That's all right. Uh, what else can we do? A couple of different features. So you can click around on the features and see you get different things. Fool around with them as you like. Uh, and if you go down here and hit artistic effect options, it has other things in here. Line, color, line style, shadow, reflections, glow and soft edges, 3D rotations. Um, you can rotate your picture different ways. And again, the artistic effects are in here. All kinds of things. Picture corrections are in here also. All right. So that's a good option. Um, Let's see. And we have something here called color. Has quite a few different variations on colors, black and white. There's the same color enhanced. And there's different shades. There's all shades of colors. And there's more options below for variations. You can set transparent color. There's picture color options. Pretty good. All right. And I'm not going to go into details on this. I'm just basically letting you know that this feature is here and it's available, available to you within Microsoft Word Starter 2010. So we have corrections, color. Cool thing, too, is, um, hold on, let me go back to my original image. Oops. Oops. Let me just go get my original image. So we're going to do it again. Insert, picture, butterfly. There he is. All right. There's also some feature in here called remove background. So if you click remove background, let's see what it does. 
It says mark areas to keep, blah, blah, blah. Um, as you can see, it's highlighted purple. So I guess that's the area it will uh, take away. So let's hit it. Hit keep changes. And as you can see, it left the butterfly. It took the whole background out of the picture. So you could use this for something else when you didn't need a background. And I'm pretty sure that this background isn't transparent. Like if you were to use it someplace else, you wouldn't just get the butterfly. You would get the white background. Okay? But that's basically how um, this photo enhancing software or photo altering software is um, available within Microsoft Word Starter 2010. And again, it's only available once you open up a file that has a picture. All right. Um, and like anything else, let me go back to where I was. Now, you don't have to take this out of Microsoft Word in order to save the picture as a JPEG or whatever format is available to you. You just right click on it. See where it says save picture as? Save picture as. And you would name it like you do anything else. And I'll call it, we'll call it Butterfly 2. Butterfly 2. So now, when you open up that folder, pictures, holding zone, see? There it is. So that's all you did. So everything was done within the Microsoft Word Starter 2010 program. And it has a pretty good photo editing availability to you. A lot of people don't know it's in there, and I came across it by mistake. Um... You have to learn it as you go along, but this just gives you an idea of what you can do with it and to show you that it is there. Who knew? That's it. Bye. There's a thin line between reality and psychosis. Please subscribe. <laughs>